This tiny insect is called a sharpshooter. Why, you ask? Well, sharpshooters fling their pee. And what's more, they do it using some pretty nifty physics called super propulsion. And according to researchers studying these critters, they may be the only known animal that can do it. Sharpshooters feed by sucking up nutrients from xylem, the tubes which plants use to transport water. But xylem fluid is about 95% water, so to get enough calories, sharpshooters need to consume a lot. And drinking that much water means making a lot of urine. So, flick. But why flick drops? Cicadas, fellow xylem feeders and cousins of sharpshooters, spray their urine in a much more conventional way. So why not sharpshooters? Well, micro CT scans and studies using high-speed cameras are revealing exactly what's going on. And it turns out the answer all comes down to size and energy. Sharpshooters are tiny. And at this scale, water is, for want of a better word, Sticky. Sharpshooters would risk being engulfed in their own pee if they didn't find a way to jettison it. But when you're that small, creating a jet of water uses a lot of energy. Far more than the teeny sharpshooters could muster. So they took a different approach. The urine is gently squeezed into a droplet which perches on hydrophobic hairs at the tip of an appendage called a stylet. The sharpshooters then pull back the stylet like a spring and release it, flinging the drops with incredible speed. But the droplets don't just move fast. They move 40% faster than the stylet does. This phenomenon is called super propulsion. But how does it work? Well, imagine a diver bouncing on a diving board. As the board bends, it stores energy, then releases it as it bounces back up. If the diver then times a jump at the right moment, they can make use of the energy stores in the board to amplify that jump, traveling higher and faster. And it turns out something similar is happening with the sharpshooter. Much like the diving board, tiny water droplets have the capacity to deform and store energy in surface tension. As the stylet then moves, it compresses the droplet, which then bounces back Time it exactly right, and this bounce back amplifies the force of the stylet, and the droplet flies away at a greater speed. Modelling has shown that achieving this effect requires extremely accurate timing. Too slow or too fast, and you risk the bounce back actually counteracting the force of the stylet, slowing down the flick. And yet, sharpshooters appear remarkably capable of hitting the right rhythm every single time saving them energy and allowing them to keep feeding. Super propulsion is not a new concept in the lab, but the team behind this work say that this is the first time it's been seen in a natural system, and that similar approaches could be used to remove unwanted water from devices like smartphones or smartwatches. All inspired by the humble sharpshooter. <laughs>